What's going on, everybody? I'm the hair. This is not the beard. This is the bro. <laughs> this is the hair and the beard. Yes, with, with the, the bro. With the bro. <laughs> there you go. There we got it. We got it. Um, shit, man. How you doing? Saw you at the gym yeah, earlier. Pumping good, some weights. Yep. Getting, Getting swole, huh? Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, trying, yeah. trying to look like you, bro. That's the fucking goal. Yeah. Um, but hey, man. We have obviously got had a big week ahead of us. Huge uh, week. Appreciate you coming on the show. Yep. Beard's a piece of shit like he always is. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but we got fucking UFC 230 coming up. That's fucking that's a, huge. Man, so that's a pretty big event, man. Big event. Um, we talked about it briefly like we always do, you know. Yeah. But um, at the gym and shit, we'll have our, our bro talk. But, of course, the main event's going to be... Uh, DC and Derek Lewis. DC and the Black Beast, Derek Lewis. Yeah. Um, that's one of those fights that... It was almost kind of like the Connor Khabib fight where you're like, well, you know, if he stands, Connor, if he goes to the ground, Khabib. Yeah. But this one's, I can say it's even a little more predictable, right? Because. Right. Yeah, because yeah. you, Derek, you know, with Derek Lewis, you know what you're going to get. You know, he's, <laughs> yeah. he's coming out, he's trying, he's going to try to get a knockout. That's all he's doing. You know, he's, if he doesn't get a knockout in the early rounds, it's going to be a long fight for him. He either <laughs> is going to get really gassed out or he's going to get finished. Um, or even take a decision. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? If it is just me, I kind of think if it doesn't go past, I mean, I think he has one round to get him. That's the one first game, round. Yeah. Because DC's DC's a hell of a wrestler, bro. Yeah. DC's phenomenal on on wrestling, and <clears throat> like you did the Anderson Silva, just take him down and. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And he really doesn't have a chance. No, and I know Derek Lewis is a lot bigger than Anderson Silva, but Derek yeah. Lewis is not the rest, not a wrestler, not a. He's a great puncher. I wouldn't great. call him a phenomenal striker, though, right? right? Yeah. No. So, um, that's just one of those fights that it would be crazy <laughs> if Lewis lands the haymaker somehow. Yeah. Yeah, probably. and that would really throw the heavyweight division out of whack. Big it time. would because, like we were talking about earlier. Um, uh, who who did uh who did fucking the black beast just be he be um I don't remember his name he was uh, so, yeah I think he's from um, he he's Russian from dude. he's a Russian dude yeah can't even remember his name yeah. we were just talking about um if that guy would have won as he should have won that fight right there he would have gotten a heavyweight shot he wouldn't have we would have forgot about it yeah and now we're talking about the next month which is right now that happened last month you're getting a heavyweight fight between. Derek Lewis and um, fucking DC because you know like you talked about you got six hundred thousand followers overnight. Yeah. Kept talking about you know all the sh antics it's he talked about. The flavor of the month. Flavor, flavor of the month and like yeah. fuck man I was just talking to you about it. The UFC's just as bad as WWE right yeah, now, the bro. Booking and stuff. Yeah, yeah. they're booking and yeah. whoever's trending, let's give them a title shot. Trying to make a quick buck, man. Yeah, I'm that's, that's they want to sell pay per views, bro. Because yeah. we talked about this before. Pay per views dying really bad right now, dude. Mm -hmm. Pay per views hurting and they're just trying to get whoever is hot. Put them on like Derek Lewis right now, and yeah. just hopefully they sell fights. Mm -hmm. um, we actually talked about that. I kind of think pay per view has two more years, and then it's going to be done because of the whole Dazzin thing and yeah. everybody doing that shit. Uh -huh. So we shall see. How do you think? The, how do you think this fight goes, man? Uh, the Derek, DC. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say DC finishes him in the second. Yeah, er, er, early though because yeah. that gas tank is yes, non-existent, yes. bro. It's non-existent, fucking. Um, but that's how we got that. We, I mean, the co-main events: Chris Weidman and Jacare Souza. Uh, Souza. Um, that's kind of an interesting one too. I like Weidman a lot. Yeah. Um, Souza's a kind of a big load for him to handle though. It's mm -hmm. it's Weidman's gonna be in his home crowd though in New York. So I don't know. Like I hope Weidman gets it, but. It's going to be a tough yeah. one for him. That's, that's a good fight, man. For yeah. sure. Well, what do you think about this one? Uh, I think I'll roll with my heart. Say Weidman lands on. lands an elbow or something and makes the crowd happy. Yeah. Um, what about you, man? Um, I'll go with Weidman, too. Oh, yeah, fuck Jack it. A hell, he's a hell of a fighter, too, <laughs> but I'm, I'm going with Weidman. Yeah, let's hope Weidman that gets yeah. it. Um, we talked about earlier, too, yeah. uh, Ben Askren. In the UFC yeah. because of uh, there was okay. a there was a trade with that one there was a fucking trade yeah that's yeah, crazy man yeah yeah <laughs> so we're motherfuckers are trading people nowadays yeah. in the UFC, in the UFC and, so yeah. Ben Askren is now a, a UFC fighter as he should have been a long time ago calling people out left and right yep latest mm -hmm. call out is uh, all right so the list of guys he's called out <laughs> um, Colby Covington oh he'll beat the, the shit out of Covington bro <laughs> he's too small. I would love to see that. Yeah. <laughs> um, the Diaz brothers. Yeah. Which, 
you'd watch both of them. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. And Darren Till, who is rumored to be his his first his inaugural fight. His yeah. In the in the UFC. So you think if uh, he beats Darren Till, I think the media title shot. I think Askren's a tough fight for anybody. Like I was telling you earlier, man. I, he's basically like a American Khabib. Um, he's real good ground and pound. Great wrestler. Uh, has a mouth on him too. Yeah. Obviously, he's calling everybody <laughs> out. Um, the UFC needed a needed a guy like this. Uh, I think he beats Till to be honest easily. Yeah. I, I don't I don't think he um, does what what's his name did and that Tyron Woodley did. I mean, he fucking busted his yeah. ass. But I think I think he does handle him pretty good. Um, but I don't know, man. I I like I like to I want to see him already. I want to see him fight. <laughs> Hopefully, they book it December or. Or er, soon, soon, bro. Sometime sometime soon. I want, I want to yeah. see him. The fans want to see him too. Yeah. Like but, I was telling him, you know, I've never seen Ben Askren fight, but yep. he's talking. He's <laughs> talking a lot. So yep. And he's he was undefeated in uh, one championship. He's a welterweight champion there. Um, and, and when so, do you hear people make trades? You know what I mean? They must have really wanted and, him. You know? Yeah. So. And for a guy the caliber of Demetrius Johnson. <sighs> who, oh, what were we just talking about at dinner right now, man? Yeah. I mean, fucking, uh, my man right here just said, do we get rid of the flyweight division? And at first yeah. I was like, how dare you? How could you? And I was like, that's kind of a real possibility yeah, it's, right it's, now, bro. It's possible, man. Yeah. Because, I mean, who's... And even if Demetrius Johnson, who was the champion of that division yeah. for so long, even when he was at the top, and he just lost recently to Henry Cejudo, yeah. he was never a marketable guy. You know? He never... Whenever you oh, headline pay-per-views, didn't sell... He was he usually headlined fight nights, which uh, you know, <laughs> which is sad for a champion too, yeah. bro. And but as dominant as a champion, as I he know. Was, you'd think he'd get a little more burden than that, but and what we talked, about, yeah, you're right. In reality, of the, the of the matter is that nobody wants to see those little guys fight five three hundred and twenty pounds and shit. And yeah, like we talked about, the average MMA fan is like, oh, I'll fuck him <laughs> up, I'll beat his ass. Yeah. So they probably could have marketed it a lot better. Yeah. But I don't think the UFC, I don't think Dana White cares about the little guys, to be honest, bro. And that's just me being honest. But yeah, yeah, you you might be onto something, bro. If they mm. if they get rid of that division, I'm gonna call you right away and be like, "This was y'all your fault, <laughs> no like, <profit>. fuck. <laughs> this was all your fault." Um, but we'll see what happens, man. Yeah. Oh, uh, I know that in the boxing world, Tyson Fury is making the rounds on podcasts. Talk to Rogan. Talk to Shab. Talk to a bunch of people. Um, he's just you know talking. Yeah, he, he had a real good interview with Rogan that I heard earlier. Um, you know, just saying that he he knew he he thought he would be done uh, with with boxing after he beat Klitschko for the heavyweight belt. Yeah. And then he said he had no more drive for a fucking for fighting anymore. Started gaining weight. He would just party, t- and he started doing drugs. Yeah. And became like just a fuck up kind of. Right. And then he got motivated again to fight Deontay mm-hmm. Wilder. So hopefully he's in good shape for this man because Deontay Wilder be. is a <laughs> yeah. is a motherfucker. But you know what? For Deontay, it's not a real easy fight either, man. So mm. should be a good fight for boxing, which we don't talk a whole lot about boxing, <laughs> but it's it's happening. That should be a good one for us to watch. Yep. Um, I keep knocking on wood that the Mayweather Pacquiao thing doesn't happen because we don't want to see that. We don't want to see that, bro. Unless somebody really makes that hot tub time machine work, I don't want to. Then bring it back ten years, yeah, yeah. Then I don't want to see it. But um. We'll see what happens. We had a uh, Monday Night Raw this week. Um, it was actually pretty decent. Uh, well, I'll I'll be real honest. It wasn't that decent. It actually <laughs> kind of sucked. The only part that was decent was they had Undertaker come out, Kane come yeah. out, oh, and then DX yeah, came yeah. out. So of course you know who that is. I mean, right. anybody yeah. born in the '90s know who, who those fucks yeah. are. So that was that part was decent of Raw. They also had the first ever women's pay per view last this past Sunday. Yeah. Um, I don't want to fucking be that guy but it was a little bit corny you know what i mean it's just it is what it is i wish wwe would treat their women wrestlers like the um uh this other promotion called lucha underground does it they make the girls fight the dudes and they fucking it's it's crazy bro (laughs) it's entertaining but right here they just make them all prissy and shit and they make for a lot of corny moments and it is what it is it was it was cool i mean ronda kept her bell it is what it is but there's a lot of stuff that it could have been better is what yeah. i'm saying um however this week talked about it last week there's a controversy controversial uh pay-per-view happening this friday it's called crown jewel in saudi arabia 
I'm sure you know the backlash about that stuff yeah um from that rider that got butchered over there yeah um we already have two wrestlers who aren't going to be there um one who is the big dick of wwe john cena yeah. he stated already i'm not going they already replaced him with bobby lashley so he he just he's not going daniel bryan's also not going they replaced him with samoa joe so mm. Those guys just took a stand saying, fuck that, I'm not yeah. going to go over there to that to that shit. And, I mean, fuck, good for them, man. Um, but that event happens this Friday, like, real early in the morning because of the time difference time, and shit. Yeah. Um, should be a decent event. Main event's going to be Undertaker and Kane versus Triple H and Shawn Michaels. Okay. Which is, give them a throwback <laughs> yeah, match? Yeah, give a little throwback action. Um, I just hope it's not just nostalgia and they put on a decent little show because yeah. I mean they move like molasses and right now yeah. I mean as they should they're older right. and shit it is what it is but um, other than that you have Braun Strowman going against Brock Lesnar for the Universal Title which is because I'm not sure if you heard about Roman Reigns who had the belt I did yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't he has a leukemia the leukemia yeah, yeah so hopefully he gets better man but yeah. so there his belt's going to either Brock or Braun Strowman. But overall, it should be a, a fun card. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, and like I said, they were going to switch it to a different country, but then they decided, fuck it, we're keeping it in Saudi Arabia. And I told uh, Beard last week, they have a 10-year, uh, $25 million per show contract with Saudi oh, Arabia. Shit. So that's why they're not fucking switching yeah, they it. they can't just back out of it. Yep. So yeah, it's not entirety. It's every show they put on over there is $25 million at least. Damn. It's fucking crazy, bro. That's bank, man. Yeah, but Saudi Arabia, don't, that's pennies to them, bro. They have yeah. money up the ass. So, good fight sesh, man. We'll get a little bit to the fucking NFL. Um, a good, good week, good week. Obviously, a good week for you, Mr. Mm -hmm. Ramsan over here. Close call. Yeah, Close call. <laughs> yeah definitely. Sure. Um, walk us through the game, which was a real good game, by the way. Packers Rams. It was. A uh, go ahead and tell us your thoughts. <sighs> All right. Well, you know the the Rams started out started out very sluggish in the first half. Mm -hmm. Couldn't really get anything going. Defense uh, Packers defense was shutting them down. Yep. But the Rams defense and special teams kept them in that game in the first half. I think they held uh, the Packers to like ten points in the first half. Okay. And the Rams only scored eight. So um, you know, obviously the the big moment in that game was in the, in a. The closing minutes where Ty Montgomery decided ah, to. Ah, dude. <laughs> so, so this is what happens, right? Um, Rams were up 29 27 at the time. Uh, Ty Montgomery takes it out of the end zone on the, on the ensuing kickoff. And I'm the pretty sure the goal. coach told him to. And the coach told him to take a knee. It, 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 they came out and said it. Uh, Michael so McCarthy told him to, to come out and take a <coughs> knee. Um, obviously, to give Aaron Rodgers the opportunity to get into field goal range. Which, I mean, we've seen it many times. He's done it against the Cowboys countless times that I've seen. Yeah. <clears throat> and, uh, and so anyway, Tom Montgomery brings it out, fumbles. <laughs> Fuck, and uh, that's the end of the game. Um, Packers only have one timeout left. Uh, and you set yeah. it up, the fact the Packers were down two points. Right. Which means you're setting up for a potential game. When you feel all that Rodgers right. has done <clears throat> time in, time, time out. Yep. <clears throat> but <clears throat> it's one of those things, man. He decided to be selfish, and what did they do? They fucking traded they him traded to the Baltimore Ravens. It was like, for a traded, rounder. bitch. Yep. For a seventh? For a seventh rounder. Fuck. That's pretty demoralizing, right? <laughs> Get traded yeah. for a seventh rounder. Well, that's, that's what happens when you... If that's you, not a slap to the dick, then I don't know what is, bro. Mm -hmm. That's... Yeah. I'm sure a lot of a lot of the locker rooms happy, though, bro. I, I guarantee... You saw how pissed Rodgers was a little yeah, bit. Yeah, he, he was mad. <clears throat> he, was, he was hot, man. For sure. Yeah, so... I mean, so what about the Rams keep winning, bro? They keep winning, and they also trade for fucking Dante Fowler. Dante yeah. Fowler, which set me up those four monsters in the line now, bro. Set me up who you yeah, have on that back. fucking massive line right now. Bro. All right, so even before this trade, you had Dominic Sue, came over monster, free agent, monster. Michael Brockers, another humongous monster. And of course, the big dog Aaron Donald, who's smaller than them and is a bigger monster yeah. than all, and all of them. He wreaks havoc in everybody's backfield. The problem with the Rams um, going into this week was they couldn't get pressure on the outside. Mm -hmm. Now they bring in a guy like Dante Fowler. First round caliber talent. And he, yeah, he was a first rounder. I think he was a top three pick. Yep. You know, so now they got the they can collapse the pocket with, with the guys that they already have. And then you had Dante Fowler on the outside. And that's the quarterback's that's a quarterback's nightmare, man. I don't know where you go from there, man. I just think 
I I keep saying it, man. It's, I think it should <clears throat> easily be your guys. Not easily, but it should be your guys' year. Either be it'll be either Rams, Pats or Rams Chiefs, and that's <clears throat> it, man. You guys yeah. are fucking monsters. Um, yeah, we got a good team, but you know, I I don't like to talk about it, man. <laughs> Mr. Humble, man, Mr. Fucking Humble. Yeah, I just uh, I want to see it play out before I before yeah. I say anything. You know, I don't I don't want to jinx it. Anyway. No, I feel you, bro. I feel you for sure. Um, so what about your Raiders, man? We 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 lost again. We fucking <laughs> lost again, bro. And <laughs> uh, we played decent against the Colts for a little bit. It was 28-28 in the fourth, and then uh, we turned the ball over. Fucking um, what's his name? Doug Martin fumbles the ball. Uh, mm-hmm. Colt score. We go three and out. Colt score again, and they're up two touchdowns, and then we lose the game. So they were they were competing, man. But that that defense is atrocious, and the offense is very suspect too. I was but, surprised they put up twenty eight. That's really all you can ask for, though, right? I mean, yeah. With what you guys are doing right now, you guys are gutting the entire team right now, man. I mean, traded Mari Cooper, obviously the Cole Mac um, yep. before the season even started, so. I mean, a lot of changes going on in Oakland right now. Soon to be Las Vegas. Soon to be Las Vegas, yeah. I mean, the big picture is that, you know, John Gruden's going to be around for nine more years after this. Yep. The whole contract's guaranteed. Stockpiling draft picks. And the fact of the matter is yep. we're not, I don't even think we're even trying to win, bro. I don't think they're even worried about that because yep. we're not going to do anything at all. Um, yep. They're just worried about getting those draft picks. So yep. uh, that should, that should <laughs> fucking... Do it for us. Yeah. That's a good little lead in into into this week. Mm-hmm. This week, first first game of the week is gonna be my Oakland Raiders versus the San Francisco 49ers on Thursday night. Yeah. Um, I don't know, man. I, it's <laughs> one of those games. We're both one and six. Niners had a they they played good against the Cardinals yeah, last week. They were at it. They were up the whole game except the very yeah, end. Until yep. Uh, I saw Larry Fitzgerald had a good ass crazy yeah, ass had play. You had a, a good <clears throat> outing. I didn't see the play, but I, I did. He see just it. trucked like two dudes and scored. <laughs> I was very surprised. Yeah. Um, so it's one of those things where both one and six. Um, mm-hmm. It's just primer. Honestly, this is both of our Super Bowls. It's, yeah, that's was, all we have looking for, to look forward to. I was to. going to say. So you guys are obviously you guys are both tanking right now. Both hard. both franchises hard. Do you guys think um, you go into this game trying to win it? You know, at like a. As a pride thing, I mean, it, it's a it's a battle of the bay thing going I, on. I kind of think this might be the only game that we're gonna try, to, to, win. try to win, for, and the Niners too, because yeah. Bay Area Bowl, Niners and right. Raiders, and do we play each other, we play each other yeah, once every four years, years and yeah. fans look forward to it. A lot of shit talking, or it could just be a fucking snooze fest and it's gonna be three to six or some shit. Oh man, hopefully I don't not. See that. Hopefully not. It's yeah. prime time and. I don't know. I'm gonna ride with with my Raiders. Uh, who do you got winning the game? <sighs> um, I saw uh, Derek Carr. He actually had a pretty decent game last week. He right? did through four touchdowns, but it wasn't enough. I'm gonna say I'll say the Raiders just based on the fact that they you guys have a better quarterback. Yeah, because I mean obviously Derek Carr is a lot better than C.J. Beathard, and, and you know what? All credit go. To, all the credit to C.J. Beathard, man. That guy plays his heart out. He's, he does it every week, he plays bro. Plays his heart out, man. But he's, he's, um, he's not an NFL uh, caliber quarterback. The thing is with him is the talent's not there, bro. The, the heart's ta- there. The, heart the talent's there, not there. For sure, yeah. Um, so those are picks for that game. Next game's going to be Falcons uh, Redskins. Um, the Falcons lose last week. Uh, they had a bye, I believe. Okay, yeah. and Redskins. Redskins beat the Giants last week. So, um, let me see. Falcons haven't been doing good this year. I'm going to ride with Alex Smith. It's in Washington, too. I'll say it's Redskins. Uh, Redskins have a pretty, pretty solid defense. I'm <clears> going <throat> with the Redskins, too. Okay, yeah. sounds good. Um, next one, we got Lions-Vikings. Um, Lions, they lost to the Seahawks last week. Vikings, I think they had a... No, the Vikings, Vikings also lost, lost to the, the Saints. Saints. Yeah. Um, so both can be enough losses. It's in Minnesota though. I feel like Minnesota's a more, more talented team mm-hmm. also. Mm-hmm. Um, in the beginning of the season, I would have said that they would have smashed the Lions. Just this hasn't been a crazy good year like they've hoped. Right. Um, I'll mm-hmm. still say Vikings, but like 2017 though, not yeah. by a whole lot. Yeah, the Viking or I'm sorry, the Lions are actually playing a little bit better than I thought they would be. Yep. Um, and the Vikings are a little worse than I thought they would be. Yeah, so that's why it's, um, cr- it's toss up almost. You know uh, what I mean? Yeah, um, I, but I, I'll go with the Vikings too, just because I think they are the better team. 
Yeah, they should be. They should be playing a lot better than they have been playing. Yep. Um, next game is uh, always a good slobber knocker, the fucking Steelers-Ravens. Um, Steelers have been playing a little better as of late. James yeah. Conner had 150 <clears throat> last week, I think, and yeah. two touchdowns mm -hmm. uh, against the Browns, right? Yep. Yeah, so uh, Ravens, I, did, did they have a buyer? The Ravens to lost to the Panthers last week. Oh, yes, yep. yeah. Yeah, that's true. Um, I'm going to say Steelers just because they're playing better, and... Um, I don't know. It, Raven, it's in Baltimore. The Ravens are a decent team this year. Yeah. Um, they're, they're just one of those Jekyll High teams where you think, like, shit, they put up 40? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck, they lost to so-and-so. Yeah. So it's a tough one for me, but I'll just I'll stay with the Steelers on that one. Uh, the Ravens, they played once already this year. And the Steelers, yeah. They beat the Steelers, and they yep. usually split the series. And, and again, I, I do think the Steelers are the better team, so I'm going. I'm right at the Steelers too. Sounds good, man. Um, next, we got Chiefs Browns. Chiefs, I kind of think they're gonna steamroll this game, bro. I yeah. think they're gonna fucking beat the shit out of them. Um, Browns, they kind of honey dicked a lot of mm -hmm. us in the beginning of the season. Mm -hmm. Baker Mayfield had that big dick energy for a little bit, and they had, <laughs> you know what I mean? They made us think that oh shit, they're gonna do something this year, right. possibly. Now they've slowly started becoming the old the Browns, Browns that we're yeah. used to. Yep. And um, everything is right in the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everything's right back in the world. Um, so I mean, it should be an easy. It's in Cleveland, but I don't think that matters yeah, too much. Matter. Uh, we can touch real quick on it too. Um, Hugh Jackson got fired. Went yeah. three, and I think thirty-six this the past three years. That's wild. That he <laughs> <laughs> he yeah, jumped that long, man. Um, so and I, th I think it's maybe because I like Hugh Jackson, but the first year I wanted to give him a pass, yeah. even though he was one, he went one and was it one and fifteen or one and sixteen, whatever. I think he went one and fifteen, yeah. Yeah, one and fifteen, but because it was a new team inherited, they were, they were riding with him. They're like, fuck it, let's ride with them. Yeah. The year after they went zero and sixteen, and that's when you're kind of like, well, fuck. Um, <laughs> so yeah. you, so you knew he's like, all right, we're riding with you, Hugh, but. Mm -hmm. This has been two leash. years. It's been two years yeah. and one victory. So, yeah. all right, let's do this third year. We got this. We got Baker. Everybody's all pumped up. Let's do it. Yep. A couple games pass, and you I kind of they started off with a tie. Yeah. Which is that's a win for them. Fuck yeah, it's a you win know? for them, dude. And then the, and then you win against uh, the, the Jets. Jets on Monday yeah. night. I think it was a. Yeah, it was a prime time game for sure. Yeah, it was prime time game. Everybody got free beer. Everybody's yeah. pumped up. And even <laughs> us, we're like, look at the Browns, man, dude. I was happy for them, bro. Me too, like, man. Yeah fucking good for them but now like you said everything's right <laughs> back in the world Hugh Jackson got fired and Todd Haley got fired yep and you, you know we were talking about you think that they were going to choose one or the other they said fuck you to both, both of you guys <laughs> and um, now Baker Mayfield just left with an off without an offensive mind because Greg <laughs> or, um, obviously Hugh Jackson was an offensive minded coach head coach yep and Todd Haley was our offensive coordinator so now they promoted their defensive coordinator to be the interim head coach. Yeah. So now you wonder what kind of uh, what kind of offense the Browns are going to be running. It's probably not going to be too good, year. brother. Yep. It's probably not going to yeah. be too good. It's probably going to be a, a long game for them this week. And I also saw heard from a little birdie that um, Baker Mayfield's actually happy that Hugh Jackson's gone. That he's yeah. not going to miss the guy. So uh, thing is, man, Hugh Jackson. <laughs> I liked him when he was our head coach because he had us in like the top ten offense for a little while we went eight and eight both years yeah. which isn't good but it's you know it's whatever yeah. for us it was good because With we're the still standard right <laughs> yeah. yeah um but the thing is he's not a real aggressive grab you by the throat kind of guy yeah and you see it on hard knocks i saw a clip earlier that they were just kind of not listening to him walking over him and it's just like man fuck like now you know why he got fired and right. shit so um I got Chiefs. Obviously, you got Chiefs too. I assume. I got yep. Uh, next one, we got Jets Dolphins. This is a another toss-up game for me, man. It's, it's in, my, it's in Miami though, but uh, let's see how Jets lost to the Bears last week. Got their ass kicked. Um, the Dolphins <coughs> lost to the Texans. Yes, they got their ass yeah. kicked too. Yeah. So, um, is Brock still starting for them? Or is it going to be Tannehill this week? Um, Oz and Brock started last week. I'm not sure if he's starting this week or not. Uh, I'm going to say fucking Jets, bro. Just be Even though it's in Miami, I'm going to say Darnold does okay this week. That's just, me. That's just like a hard guess for me, bro. Yeah. Hard guess. I'm just going to go with the Jets on this one. <clears throat> uh, 
Um, I'll go with the Dolphins just because I have Kenyon Drake on one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, stay with that fantasy, yeah. bro, for sure. Um, next, we got Khalil Mack and the Bears. Uh, fuck. Going against the Bills, so we got the, uh, got the, got the Bears, I assume. Uh, the Bears, yeah. Um, Bills are very bad this year, just like us, just like the Niners. And they just might like be like trotting out Nathan Peterman next week because Derek, <sighs> Derek Anderson got hurt late. <clears throat> Yes, so interception, Peterman. Peterman, man. yeah. That guy, he, you know what, dude? It's not. I'm not trying to make fun of him, but he should go think about the Canadian league or like something like that to boost his confidence because he can't just yeah, be man. throwing picks every game and think like, okay, this is okay. I'm, I, he's real <laughs> close to getting out of the league already. He's in the yeah. second year, I think, right? Yep. Um, yeah, Bears should be 25, three or some shit. Yeah. Um, we got the Buccaneers and Panthers. Bucks, man, they benched Jameis again. again. Uh, yeah. Fist, Fist Magic looked decent last week when he, he went in. You know what? He brought it back. <coughs> he did were, bring it back. in a hole. He almost won that game for him. Uh, it took a, a last second field goal from the Bengals to win. Yeah, so, dude. And I like Fitzpatrick a lot. He brings yeah. his swagger and he's fucking crazy. He looks like McGregor <laughs> with his yeah. beard. He just, he's fucking like a little crazy Irish mm -hmm. dude, man. So. I like it. Um, I know Jameis should be the guy, should be the future and all that, but I'm honestly, I don't know, man. I don't know what's wrong with that guy right now. I don't know if it's just mental or, because he has all the tools, I feel like, yeah. Jameis. But um, it's just hard to say, man. I even, Just because Fitzpatrick's starting this week, I'm going to go with the Bucks. Yeah. But um, Panthers, it's... Get a little more Fitzmagic. Yeah, a little more Fitzmagic. Week, I'm, more week. I'm ready for it, bro. Yeah. Um, Pan I mean, Panthers, they're, they're a decent team this year. It's in Carolina, too. But I'm just going to say Bucks. Shout out to Marty. Shout out to Marty, our yep. barber, man. He loves Jameis, too. He does. I actually texted him a little bit ago. I was like, man, what are your thoughts? I want to know what you think. And he's like, I can't fucking support Jameis anymore. Yeah. That was big for him to say because he loves Jameis, yeah, too. Yeah, he does. He, he does. loves Jameis. Even with all the Fitz magic shit happening, he's cutting <laughs> yeah. the hair. I'm like... This magic, bro. He's like, like nah, James. nah, James, bro. Yeah. Trust me. And I was yeah. like, all right, all right. So, um, I'm glad it's, uh, Fitz, Fitzpatrick starting again. I think he's gonna bring a little bit more juice into the Bucks. Yeah. I'm gonna say they win this this week. Um, what, what do you think, man? Um, I'm gonna go with I'm going with the Panthers. Panthers. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I, I think Fitz Magic and uh, Jameis are, are both. They're very similar <laughs> in that they can both potentially go off yeah and they can both potentially be atrocious yep you know and and we've seen it happen time and from time both again, from yeah. both of them this year that's why they've both been benched and shit. yeah um what do you think is a problem with Jameis right now though um you know what i was reading some some stuff about him when he got drafted um he told his his, his head coach now that he's not scared to make any throw so yeah. and his coach told him like you have to be afraid of making some throws <laughs> like you know you can't just be blind not necessarily blindly throwing yeah. it in there but there's there's good and bad throws you know and, yeah and you've got to limit the bad throws mm -hmm. you know you don't want to put, be putting it in tight windows every, all the time you know so I think that's that's the thing with with Jameis he he tries to fit fit the ball in where it's a low percentage um, of being caught yeah. Um. And I think you hit it right on the button, bro. On the button, I mean, there's times when he probably can throw it away, maybe scramble a little bit more, maybe look for a second or third read. Yeah. But I don't. Know, he he has a quarterback itch, I guess. Yeah. We'll see how it goes, man. I, I I want him to do good. Maybe next year. Still fairly young, mm -hmm. but we'll see what the what the Bucks plan is. Um, next game is Chargers Seahawks. Chargers to me have a real complete team right now. Mm -hmm. One of the more complete teams that that they've had in recent years. Yeah. Um. They had injuries too, but I still like that team right now. I think yeah. Seahawks are okay. It's in Seattle too. Seahawks have been up and down a little bit this year, a little more down than up. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to say Chargers take that game. <clears throat> that could be a good game. Yeah. Um, that I, potential would be a good game for sure. I'm, I'm riding with the Chargers, but um, you know I wouldn't be surprised, if, surprised to see Seahawks, Seahawks coming off the victory. Because, yeah, they're, um, they're coming off the Lions. They beat the Lions. I think they, uh, they had a bye the week before. I can't yep. remember what. Anyway, they're four and three. Um, they're kind of training upwards right now, so. Yep. But I'm still going with the Chargers. They, like you said, they got a really, really good team. Philip Rivers. They do, man. If you know. if the Chiefs won in that division, they'd be taking it. You know yeah. what I mean? And, and people forget. Okay, the Chargers' two losses came courtesy of the Chiefs. Yeah. And the Rams. And I mean, so, who are 
arguably, I don't even think arguably, but I'll say arguably just for sake, arguably the two best teams in the league right now. Yep. So, I mean, fuck, dude, what is that? And they were they competed okay against the Chiefs too. Mm-hmm. Talent took over towards the end. I forget so, how they did against you same guys. Same thing with the Rams. Um, you know what? I, I never really felt like the game got away from the Rams, but they were. Um, they were in it. Yeah, they were in and it. that they just were, shows like, you that... 10, 7, mm-hmm. seven range. Yep. Pretty much the entire game. Yeah, there, there it goes, man. we got Chargers. Next game is Broncos-Texans. Um, should be a decent one. They both have decent defenses. Mm-hmm. Um, it just really depends which quarterback plays better, which should be Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson. Um, mm-hmm. It's in Denver, too. It's a mile high, which yep. could play a, take a toll on the game. But um, Broncos, they... What the fuck did they do last, last week? week? They lost to the Chiefs. Lost, yeah. Well, it's and they lost yeah. by seven points, which is you know they they have a the thing is, bro, the AFC West is pretty decent right now. It's besides the fucking Raiders, Raiders yeah, which, yeah. Just my luck. Um, and then the, the Texans, they uh, they won, I think. Beat no? the Dolphins. Beat the Dolphins, yeah. yeah. So and you know another thing, um, ironically, the. Broncos just traded Demarius Thomas to the, to the Texans. Texans with, and uh, he's. A, I think he's gonna get a lot of openings with uh, DeAndre Hopkins getting double teamed, bro. DeAndre Hopkins getting double teamed. Will Fuller just got hurt. Yep. He's out for the season, so that's gonna be Demarius, Tho- Demarius Thomas's role now. Mm-hmm. Demarius Thomas is a good receiver. He's just been lacking a good quarterback to get on the ball. For yep. Pretty much his entire career. Um, well, yeah, you were just telling me that right now too. Yeah. So I, I think you're right. I think Texans got a lot better on offense with him, even though, yeah. you know, say what you want about that guy, but he, well, if he has a decent quarterback, he's a good talent for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I got, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Texans that game, just because you hyped me up with, <laughs> with all that yeah. shit right now. Oh, I'm going with the, the Texans too. Yeah. yeah. Um, next one. Big game for my man right here. To me, this is gonna be one of your guys' hardest games of the year. Rams mm-hmm. Saints. Saints defense is a little suspect for mm-hmm. sure, but that offense is ridiculous. They have, as long as you got Drew Brees, you have a really good offense. Yep. However, that front line, that fucking massive defense of the Rams, is gonna be a, a motherfucker, bro. Yep. Drew Brees is already a short, a short smaller, quarterback. Yep. Um, that's gonna be tough. I'm gonna ride with the Rams just because you guys are undefeated and. I don't think anybody can beat you guys this year, to be honest. But the Saints are going to be in the game, I think. It's going to be a decent mm-hmm. game for sure. Because it's in New Orleans, too. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, obviously, you got yeah. the Rams, I assume. I, I do have the Rams. Um, I think it'll be a shootout. Yeah, I think you it'll do be a shootout. shootout. Oh, that'll be I fun then, be man. Yep. That'll be fun. Um, you know, our, our quarters have kind of gotten in getting victimized, especially uh, Peters, Marcus uh, Peters. Marcus, and, we were yeah. talking about that earlier. Um, Walls and the treadmill and shit. I was saying, I'm very surprised of how fucking Peters has been performing. Yeah, um, he is a good a good corner though. I'm not gonna take that away from him. Right, it's that leadership from K- to a keep to leave, a keep to leave, yeah. and I guess that's what it is. But Peters is he's a way better cornerback than what he's playing right now. I yeah, truly believe is. that. So is, I don't know. I think it should be a fun game though. I hope they fucking mm-hmm. put that as America's game of the week. It is actually is America's game of the week. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. We'll be watching then. Um, fucking next game is Packers Patriots sh- Sunday night primetime game. Should be a fucking fun game too. Mm-hmm. Um, Packers coming off the real tight loss against you guys, against the Rams. Patriots, uh, they beat the the shit out of the fucking Bills last night. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so it should be a fucking fun game, dude. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna say Pats because it's at home. I feel like they never lose at home for the most part. Yeah. Um, but Green Bay, they're they're good. As long as you got Rodgers, you're you're in the game for sure. Uh, who do you got that game? Um, Packers are three three and one currently. Yeah. They want to stay alive in the playoff race. They got to win this one. They need it. They they need it. They need it. I'm going with the Packers. I'm going with Aaron Rodgers. Fuck it, man. Let's do it. Um, last game of the week, Monday night. It's gonna be uh, Titans Cowboys. Cowboys have also been a very Jekyll Hyde team. They beat the shit out of the Jags and then lost to the Texans, and and they're just kind of up and down. Mm -hmm. They're a hard team for me to judge right now. They're going to have Amari Cooper this week. Mm -hmm. Um, Should be fun. I feel like the Cowboys are one of those teams that they just perform sometimes, and it's crazy. They just do it. But um, I'm going to say Dallas, just going off of what I said, so I don't feel like a hypocrite, but it's a game they can easily lose too. Uh, against yeah. Tennessee, what do you, what do you got that game? Like you said, they got Amari Cooper now. Yeah, 
he's gonna be able to stretch that field. Yep. They're gonna that's gonna open up the intermediate routes for Cole Beasley and yep. you know Tavon and whoever else they got. And obviously they're not gonna be stacking the box as much against Zeke. That's true. Zeke I didn't even think about that. Yep. Zeke is gonna be able to run a little bit more freely. So I'm gonna say Cowboys big. It's a big, oh, it's a big, big one. I like it. One, I yeah. like it. Dallas one's big. Great NFL sesh, man. Um, we'll get back to it next week, have a review, see how everybody does, see how close we were in our fucking picks. Move on a little bit to the NBA. Um, now I can be a little bit happier because <laughs> fucking surprisingly the Kings have started off 5-3 and three this year. Uh, we just, Before we started, actually, we were watching the end of Kings Magic. Um, they played the Heat last week. Uh, they they beat the Heat. I mean, last week. They played play the Heat last night. Yeah. They beat them. Then they played the Magic today. You know, Florida, the whole Florida yeah. thing. Mm-hmm. They beat them, too. So, a little bit of surprise. They're up. They're, it's right now the only teams that have more wins than them is the Warriors in the West. Yeah. So, the only team that other, the only other team that has five wins also in the West is the Nuggets. So, the yeah. Nuggets, Kings, and then the Warriors, Warriors have, like, seven or eight wins, some shit like that. Yeah. But, um, so... And that was very early, but it's very, very nice for me to see just because of the Raiders shit. And, yeah. And they're, they're very young. The Kings are very young, but it's nice to see them pull together some wins. And, and we were talking about, you know, this is one of the better uh, starts the Kings have had in long recent, time, man. recent memory. Very long time, yeah. Yep. And so, they're young. They're playing that run and gun style where they're just up and down the court. They're tiring a lot of teams out. Uh, the, the Heat were actually saying that they didn't want to run anymore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, I mean, the, they, they have D-Wade still, and uh, they, they don't have a whole lot of talent on that team. But it's just, fuck, dude, we've had number one picks for – we've had high draft picks for a lot of years already. Mm-hmm. So you'd think this would have happened a long time ago. But, yeah. Um, I hope they keep it up, man. I'm very – I'm starting to get very pumped up. At first, and when we had two wins and three wins, I was like, all right, okay. all right, don't, don't panic. <laughs> don't overreact. <laughs> don't panic. Then yesterday, four, like, okay, okay. Five would be crazy, but I'm not going to count. It's back to back. They're both yeah. on the road. That's not. They went in today. I was like, all right, hold on. <laughs> Let me fucking bring this fucking smile down. So hopefully, yep. you know, don't want to get too pumped up yet, but I am already. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Um, Lakers have been trying to find their niche, man. Um, we expected it though. We we didn't expect titles this year. We knew it would yeah. be a little bit of a struggle with the young Lakers and, and LeBron James. Right. So um, played a real good game against Timberwolves. Was it Tim yesterday? Last night. Yeah, last night. Uh, Jimmy Butler took over. Butler just oh. took. A, he went. He just went off, bro. He was hitting threes like crazy towards the end. And um, Lakers are gonna be okay, dude. They're they're gonna yeah. they're gonna make the playoffs. They're gonna get sixth or seventh seed, I think. It's just it's a little bit tougher in the West, like we were talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so with the Lakers, they got, I mean, they got a lot of young guys, yep. a lot of young talent. Those guys need to find their role within the offense now that they have. And they will. They are playing off mm-hmm. the best player in the world. Yep. So it's not, you know, it's not going to be instantaneous results. It's not. And you mentioned it too. Uh, LeBron, he customarily fucking starts slow. Yep. The fact is, slow. though, is that it's easy to do that in the East. Yeah. Starting slow in the West is a little bit hard because you got a lot of motherfuckers yeah. in the West. Got a lot of ground to make up, that's for sure. Yeah, so, I mean, I still think they'll make the fucking playoffs, 100%. Mm-hmm. I think in the middle of the season, you're going to see the Lakers hit their stride, hit seven, eight wins in a row. Ingram's on a, I think Ingram's going to benefit the most with LeBron James being on the team. Yeah. He's going to hit it hard. Um, so, I wouldn't panic yet. I've seen already some shit like, oh, the Lakers are already done. <laughs> it's like, no, no, it's not. Yeah, of course, I'm a fucking Sacramento fan, but they're going to be okay. They're going to make playoffs this year, the, the Lakers I'm talking about. It's just it's gonna take a little bit of time. It's barely what the fucking eighth game or whatever. Yeah. So they're fine. They'll 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 be okay. Um, we also have uh, the last game that we just saw right now too was the. Uh, it was uh, Sixers and the Raptors. Sixers Raptors and yeah. the fucking <clears throat> Kawhi hitting some Kawhi, shots, bro. Yeah. Um, Raptors won that game. Kawhi surprisingly looking real good in in, yeah. in Toronto, and I thought he was just gonna be. A whatever season for him this yeah. year because I didn't think he'd be happy there. So, yeah, I mean, he had that year off last year. Yeah, but, you know, might people, have rejuvenated him to be people, honest. People forgot that you know, people were crowning not necessarily the best player, but you know, second, third best player in the mm-hmm. league behind LeBron James um, when he was healthy. <laughs> Did you see this? No, I didn't. Let know. me fucking put this back for you, dude. Yeah, real quick. <laughs> this is fucking hilarious. We'll get back into the shit right now, but I want this. This could be, I guess, a little bit of a current event. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, that was terrible. Yeah, dude, that 
Okay, so we'll set this up real quick. It's about a 5'3", 120-pound football player. He, he literally does this. <laughs> and the other football player is probably like 6'5", probably weighs 350. Yeah. Um, and he fucking, exactly what <laughs> he, just, he did. He just throws himself back. <laughs> throws himself back, and he earned a flag, too. So, uh, oh, shit. <laughs> okay, so they're showing, we're watching his pin right now. Um, they're showing a fucking soccer, soccer coach. He gets he gets pushed in the shoulder. He gets pushed in the shoulder and he acts like he's having a heart attack. It's fucking hilarious. But um, Sar got distracted from that. But we're talking about the fucking Raptors and yeah. Toronto. Um, Kawhi had a year off, like you said. You rejuvenated as fuck. Probably couldn't wait to start playing competitive ball again. Yep. And uh, he's doing it, man. I think they're seven and zero right now. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Um, seven and one. Seven and yeah, one. Fuck. Insane. Fucking good, man. Good for them. Yeah. Um, the Cavs. Cavs are. F oh shit. That was fucked up. So the Cavs. How the mighty have fallen, bro. Son yeah. of a bitch. They're fucking. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> so okay, we'll bring it up real quick. <laughs> this kid was on a skateboard. Uh, he's trying to do something on the skateboard. He ends up cracking the skateboard in half on a pipe. Falls down, crushes his dick. He's <laughs> <laughs> That's literally what just happened right now. So, uh, no kids for that guy. But um, anyways, we'll go with uh, the Cavs. Yeah, like I said, the mighty have fallen. Um, yep. uh, they started off 0-6. I mean, fuck, man. They were just they were competing for titles the past three years. Yep. Fucking limelight. They're they're out. They were on everything. Now they're they're already thinking about sitting out Kevin Love. The season just started, bro. Yeah. Um, the last uh, Cavaliers game, they were selling, the home game, they were selling tickets for two $2. bucks, man. Yeah. God, dude, That's I was crazy, seeing man. so many memes saying, you can get 20, 20 nuggets at BK instead, <laughs> <laughs> instead of going to the Cavs game. Which you would probably rather do. Yeah, yeah right now you'd rather do that. Instead of, you know, going to the parking, getting in yeah. line, doing all that bullshit, I'll take the 20 nuggets instead, sir. Thank yeah. you very much. Um, it kind of sucks they fired Ty Lu. Two, uh, the head coach. It's a bad week for Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> no shit, dude. They fucking fired <laughs> Todd, Hugh Jackson, uh, Todd Haley, Todd Haley, and they fucking Tyron Lue. So yeah, like you said, we're the world is back in order. Cleveland yeah, sucks Cleveland. Like everything. <laughs> <laughs> again. Um, I heard a lot of people talking shit too that LeBron leaving Cleveland was a worse thing for the Cleveland economy too, because LeBron brought a lot of jobs yeah. because of monuments, because of. All the sh publicity he brings, it creates jobs just for... Yeah. It's such a trickle effect. When he left, there's no need for uh, you know, rebuilding shit or for doing things to make things look nice because your team sucks and look what yeah. happened already. So, sad day for Cleveland, man. Um, you had brought up to me earlier about the four first-round picks for Jimmy from Butler. Jimmy Butler. From um, the Rockets. From the Rockets. The thing I heard about that, though, it was spaced out. They weren't sequential. Oh, they weren't? Four okay. first-round picks. So I, and, and like you said, the Rockets, are, they're going to do good. They're going to be so, um, contenders. So those first-rounders that they're offering, chances are they're going to be... They're going to be low, very low. Low, yeah. almost yeah. second-rounders. Yeah. So that's so. probably why they're not accepting that. Yeah. I would have still accepted it if you want to get rid of Butler, though. You know yeah. what I mean? It's a lot of picks, dude. Mm -hmm. um, Clay Thompson broke that 30-point record. Uh, previously held by Steph Curry, which was 13 threes 13. in one game. Yeah. Um, Clay Thompson hit 14 last night. 14 last night. Could have had a lot more. Yep. Got pulled in the, in the third, third quarter. quarter. Yep. So Played 27 minutes. Scored 50... I think 52 it was. That's crazy, man. That's ridiculous, bro. Um, fucking Warriors, man. They're going to win the title this year again. And I hate to say it. It's just they're going to win it, bro. Yeah, they are. They're going to fucking win the title. And I just... I'm, I'm okay with it this year just because I want Boogie Cousins to get his ring. Yeah. And then... If we make the playoffs this year, Boogie Cousins will see a little bit of birth in Sacramento <laughs> and a little bit of potential there. Yep. He'll bring a okay. championship caliber. I've been saying it every week. And, it'll, and everything will be right in my world again with yep. Cousins back on the Kings with their fucking ring. Um, but it's a whole lot of ifs, ands, and whats. So we'll see. But um, I mean, I don't think you can rule it out. I hope not, bro. I, hope, I don't want to get pumped up again, but I hope yeah. not. Um, but reality of the matter, it's a real fun time of the year right now. The NBA is on at the same time the NFL is on. There's games on every day. We're pumped up. It's fucking awesome. Um, 
and like we did a lot of developing shit in the NBA too. Want to see how the Lakers develop? Want to see if the Kings keep this winning streak going? Um, see how Kawhi does with see Toronto does, still? Yeah. See if the Thunder can t- turn it around. Cause they have uh, started off horribly, bro. Yep. Horribly. So we'll see, man. But great NBA sets for sure. Yep. We'll get on a little bit to current events. Um, I'm sure most of the people in the world are a fan of The Simpsons. Have been since they were kids like us. Um, now they're giving into the fucking goddamn PC culture, which I fucking hate. Yep. And they're getting rid of a poo from The Simpsons. That's that's an iconic character, man. It's an iconic I mean, it character, really bro. Is, yeah. You're right. I can't even disagree with that. Um, and of course, he is a stereotypical character. He's an you know Indian character that works. Convenience, story. convenience yeah. store, yeah. And it's funny, dude. And it's it's it is what it is. They make fun of everybody, though. They have the fucking Bumblebee who speaks Spanish and does all the fucking what's Bumblebee man? Yeah. He does all the fucking Hispanic yeah. Mexican things that we just laugh about too. It's yeah. just the PC culture is driving me crazy. I hate it. I fucking hate it. I hate it so much. <laughs> it's people are way too soft, bro. They're yeah. way too fucking soft. We actually talked about a couple of weeks back um, how. There's colleges now that have thinkeries, and I guess what the, what they are is, or they have crying spaces. So what they I've are is, that, yeah. it's ridiculous, bro. It's all that fucking PC shit. People are too soft. We did just fine in school. You know what I mean? We didn't need that shit. We turned out just fine. So that's my little rant for the fucking. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think about them getting rid of Apu? Yeah, I think you're right, man. I mean, the, all this PC stuff going on. Uh, I mean, like you said, they they kind of draw stereotypes from all just from everybody dude everybody it's like, you know and, and i mean i don't if you're taking out a poo who are you gonna take out next yeah okay. i think it'll be bumblebee man to be honest dude and it was i don't even want to say, I, it's funny dude we think it's funny it's it's hilarious like yeah. they make fun of everybody and it's not a big deal so i don't like it but we'll see uh walking dead news uh main character of the show rick unless you're living under a rock you know that he's dying this is his last episode I'm sure it'll be the heaviest viewed episode. What I'm hearing basically is he's either gonna be hallucinating the whole episode to the very end, you see that he's dead, the whole thing with hallucination, or a helicopter's gonna take him away. Um, so either one of those two things, Walking Dead should actually be dead very soon, they'll lose yeah. their main character, because that's basically you know their bread, their bread and butter. Right. I think they'll do okay the rest of the season, but this is basically, this is the, the last nail in the coffin for them. Yep. That's pretty much it. Um, other than that, good sesh, man. Fucking awesome sesh. Hope to have you on soon. I appreciate <clears throat> you coming. Yep. You're a fucking monster on this show. Um, we'll recap everything else. Hopefully we have, a, we have a good week of fighting and everything, NFL, NBA, all that yep. shit. Um, but again, thank you for coming on, man. Always no a problem. pleasure. Before I go, Dodgers, piece of shit. <laughs> Lost oh, one. yeah. I forgot about that. Uh, Boston Red Sox, congrats to them. We're at, they won the World Series. Shout out to my godfather. He's a big fan of them. Um, but yeah, yeah, they won 4-1. to one. Four to one. Dominating fashion. My man right here not too happy about it. I'm not. Uh, I'm a Dodger <laughs> fan, so... Um, you know, much like the beard. Um, yeah, they lost in, in five games. Second time and second season that they lost at yeah. home. The clinching game they lost in at Dodger Stadium. Man. Yeah. So they got to see two teams just celebrate a World Series. Fashion. I know. And they haven't done it since 88. 88 man and there's actually a lot of Dodger fans out there uh, Ricky Galvez big sexy our, our yeah, fellow right, friend he's yeah. also a Dodger fan he told me he was like third time's a charm baby next year we're going for the fucking for the title so, next year and so you guys are talented it, it can happen so yeah. we'll see we'll see what happens man but um like I said other than that thanks for coming on man fucking yeah. always a pleasure appreciate it man there's a fucking bro, bro. it's the hair we out